Now we are going to discuss about merchandising plan. Normally a retailer prepares a comprehensive plan which starts with gathering the information and then which ends up with the evaluation part. So there are actually eight steps that leads to this merchandising plan. Let me discuss with you quickly one by one. So this process of implementing the merchandising plan has the first step which is gathering the information. So what a uh, retailers do first of all in before making any plan he has to gather some information and then after gathering this information he need to select and interact with the merchandising sources so moving to the third step then what he will do will be evaluating all these things so evaluation will come after evaluation this stage of negotiation will come so negotiation with the suppliers for example it is xyz product so you are going to negotiate with it then after negotiation we will move to the fifth step which step is that you have to give the concluding uh, purchases so that the retailer should know what are the agreements finalized and then now what are the merchandise they are going to receive so of course then the next step is receiving the inventories receiving the merchandising and then uh, stocking them uh, of the merchandise after that the next step is the seventh step which is the reordering level uh, reordering once the stock you have received now at what point of time you are going to reorder that and eighth point which is the uh, last part of the process is revaluation. Re and once you revaluate re everything again you go to step number one you gather the data and so and so evaluation negoti negotiation receiving the merchandise and then again revaluation. Re so it is a continuous process of merchandising plan so first of all let me discuss with you point number one uh, which is gathering the information so when once we discuss about the gathering of information so it is gathered normally about the target market needs and prospective supplier so you have actually two things in your mind one is about what would be the target market and second from whom i am going to buy these products so who would be my prospective suppliers uh, for example if i have planned let's say in the beverages category so I either I go to which suppliers I will uh, cater if which suppliers are will be there uh, which I'm going to go for the negotiations and for the purchase and for the contracts so for example if I, it is beverages so there will be supplier for soft drinks and there will be supplier for hot drinks so then if it would be soft drinks uh, then you can have of course then you can say it okay I am going to talk to Pepsi I'm going to talk to uh, Coca-Cola I'm going to talk to Amrat Cola I'm going to talk to Park Cola so there are a lot of brands already available so what you are going to do you will identify uh, which areas which brands I could switch target considering my target market if my target market is looking for Pepsi and Coke I will not go for uh, other brands if I'm a target market is looking for Amrat Cola or Park Cola or some other local brands then I will not go for a brands because that is not as per the need of the target market then uh, data about shopper needs can come from customers can come from suppliers can come from any other sources so normally the target market ka data jo ke customers ke mein aapko batata hai, you get the information from your suppliers you also get the information from some research uh, of the customers you also get this information from your competitors once you visit competitors you see which profile of the customer which uh, income group of the customer which gender and what income level of the customer is buying and what they are buying and then on the basis of it you get all these data and it will really help you to move to the next step uh, which is we have already discussed in the process so first step is gathering data about your target market and about your prospective suppliers so about the target market you can easily get the data from your customers or your prospective customers your suppliers or your prospective suppliers uh, also your competitors which is also one of the smart source of getting the information and then the social me uh, social media the go the uh, search engines will also tell you also some key personnel in the industry will always help in getting this information so what a want book is normally helpful we call it a want slip uh, in order to get this data from the about the customers and about the suppliers so to acquire this information from the suppliers or from the about the customers what you need to do you need to arrange visits so these visits are either uh, done through the third party who is actually expert of get gathering this information or through your own staff which is 
normally useful also but again because the people know it that this person uh, are associated to x company and this persons are associated to y company so normally it is challenging in getting this information so normally the best practice is that you get all this information through the third party outsource so this is an example of uh, a shopping competition report uh, which is actually you get once you visit your competitor once you visit your uh, the, the the competition and not the first competition you can you can visit your multiple competition uh, then you can identify this uh, whatsoever you are looking for so what you look for actually you have this kind of uh, an one example of the report which will tell uh, which model you are going to search, search which product you are going to check what is the description of that particular product what is the price of that particular product so first uh, competitor price kya thi second competitor price and then store recommended price kya buy recommended price kya so all these things all this information and then uh, what are the items seen at our competitor store which we should carry also must have recommendations because by visiting the competitor you will get to know that the competitor is focusing on few items so what are the priority assortment you will also get to know from this uh, competition shopping report while getting uh, the step number 1 of gathering the information so actually once you get the right information of course you will have the right assortment in your store